right, I'm gonna stir this together. We've got two and a third cups of graham cracker. We've got four tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and an eighth a teaspoon of salt. Mm. Mixing that with some butter here that we melted. This was uh, two thirds cups of butter. So we're making a nice graham cracker crust. All right, now that that's well combined, I'm gonna set this aside and bring over our eight by eight baking dish. Here I have parchment paper I cut into strips because this is gonna make it easy when we need to take it out at the end. Would you like me to help hold? <laughs> sure. You got it, honey. I'm just gonna dump this in here. There you go. It looks like some of that didn't get completely well combined. That's okay, I'll fix it right Ooh. now. Okay, just pressing that down nicely, making a nice crust base here. Nice and even. Okay, that looks fantastic. All right, now that that is done, we have one cup of heavy whipping cream right here. We're just gonna whip this up. It's gonna take only a couple minutes. All right, that is done. I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to fold that in in a minute. Now I'm going to add, it's about a cup of pumpkin. It's a little shy of a, of a cup but that's just because I was using some reserved pumpkin and that's what I have and that'll be great. Mm. Here we have two thirds cup of white granulated sugar. We have another teaspoon of our pumpkin pie spice here and an eighth a teaspoon of sea salt. Right here is a teaspoon of lemon juice. Mm. Going in right there and guess what honey? Mm. You forgot to get, or well, actually I forgot to tell you to get the vanilla mm -hmm. at the store. So here we are using maple syrup in replace of vanilla. Again, I've been doing this all week, but you know what? It works just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, next I have 16 ounces of cream cheese, plopping oh it right in there. What are we making? I, mm. I don't even know what we're making here. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same thing here to whisk this up. All right, I'll set these aside so you can lick them later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bring back over our whipped cream that we just made and we're gonna fold it right in here. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you could use Cool Whip for this if you would prefer. It's just so easy to make. It's the, just uh, very easy to make whipped cream and it's going to give it a richness that is just undeniably delicious. So we're just going to fold this in, give it a nice mix. And that is all we have to do before we put it on top of our delicious graham cracker crust. Mm. Gotta love this homemade no bake dessert. <laughs> with a few of your favorite things, honey. We've got sugar, we've got <laughs> pumpkin, we've got cheese, <laughs> cheesecake. And the nice thing about this, even though it is pumpkin flavor, it's not overpowering because mm. the cheesecake is really the, the star mm -hmm. of this. And the pumpkin is just enhancing the flavor. All right, all right, there we go. As you can see, I was able to get this scraped pretty clean. There was plenty of space for all of that in our eight by eight. This is going in the freezer for one hour. All right, we're gonna lift this right out. It's been in there for an hour? Yeah, a little bit more than an hour. Our pumpkin cheesecake Ooh, bars. Nice. We're gonna cut these right into little bars. Ooh. Look at this. This looks incredible. I wanna be able to take this out from underneath here. How about that? There we go. You did it. You did it. Look at this. It looks so delicious. It looks amazing. I did need to grab myself a, a knife. Here we go. So we can cut this. And it just slices right. Right? Right easily, <laughs> what was I trying to say? Right easily? It slices easily. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks incredible. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of these bars 
smile. No, no, no. That one, that piece is there. It's mine. No, okay, that that is your piece. Got it. <laughs> We're gonna. You can cut all the pieces about this big. I won't bore you by doing all of them. And here is some more whipped cream that Ooh. I made, and I, I'm just gonna pipe a little bit. This is. Um, I mean, if you've watched our channel for a while, you know that my piping skills are lacking, but mm -hmm. um, I think this is going well. You can use just, you know, canned whipped cream if you prefer for this, but I had extra heavy whipping cream that I just decided to whip up with a little bit of powdered sugar. And usually I use vanilla, but I used maple syrup today, just a tad. Doesn't that look amazing? It does look amazing. Mm. All right, we'll save that for the other pieces. We can just open and up then, the bag and put it on the other side, right, for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a little sprinkle here. Mm. There we are. Doesn't that look fantastic? I am mm -hmm. so excited to try this. Let me grab a plate. Here we go. I'm gonna take this one here on the side. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my. Oh, amazing. Very excited to take a bite of this. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a bite. You're just, you're <laughs> just, just gonna, gonna? I'm just gonna go just for gonna. it. Just gonna. I'm gonna do it. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned before, the pumpkin is very, very light. Um, not overpowering at all. So if you like pumpkin and cheesecake, you gotta try these.